This video will be about how to design custom fins. Right now we have a rocket with very simple trapezoid fins. Um, and if I edit the fins, you can see you only have two choices, either a trapezoid or elliptical. And if you change it to elliptical, you can see that it changes shape to being rounded. But you can't change this very much. You can change the root cord. You can change the semi-span. But you can't angle this fin at all. To do that, you need to make a custom fin. Um, so I'm going to delete this fin set from the rocket by hitting the delete button. And I'll say yes. And now I'm going to add a custom fin, which is over here. But first we need to select where it's going to be attached. So we're going to attach it to this body tube. And hit custom fins. And again, it always looks in the database of Roxim, but we're just going to ignore that for right now. So it, Roxim will put a simple fin on your rocket and it looks like a trapezoid and it is a trapezoid but you can modify this one by coming up here to the grid and clicking and dragging on the points and when you do that you see that the rocket uh, fin shape has changed. Um, you can see which fin I'm looking or point I'm looking at by the highlight color and if it's hard for you to see you can go over to the preferences and go over to the color and font settings and change the selected point color and I'll change this to a bright red so that you can see it more easily and I'll click OK and see now I can see my point. Um, so I'll go through the buttons here um, the first one is the background grid this one is the labeling, so here's the text, so I can turn that on or off. Um, this next one is to snap to grid. Um, so right now I turned it on, so it should snap to certain points on the grid. Um, this point here uh, turns off the corners. That turns it back on. These are the zoom buttons, um, so I can zoom in. I can also move around by using the slider bars. Um, to get points here on the the um, forward side, I scale down, and now I can click and drag these points further out. And if I scroll and make it even smaller, I can go forward of the root edge of the fin where it attaches to the tube. I can make that a little bit bigger by changing the size of the screen. To delete points, you'll click on this button over here. So click, um, highlight it first, and then each point that you click on will be deleted. And to turn that off, just unselect it, and then you can start adding points again. Um, you can you can take a point and say you wanted to make it a nice round curve. This is called chamfering. So that's this button right here. When you select it, it'll ask you to cham. First, you have to select a point, and then it'll ask you to give it a, a chamfer radius and then also how many points do you want to make to make that radius so I'll say five on that point and I'll click it and you can see what it did was it rounded this off let me zoom in a little bit here on it it's not a perfect circle um, but it's pretty close um, it'll be a, a, a bunch of staggered points let me zoom in down here Let's see if you can see it a little bit better. You can see that it's it's a number of points now. Um, this is a scale point. So say you have a rocket and you wanted to enlarge the rocket or scale it up. You'd hit this and um, I'll scale it up twice as large 
So I'll make it a two times scale factor and then see what it does. And see the fins are larger and it also scaled the location on the rocket. Um, so if I want to put it back on the rocket, um, I can change it to the base of the owning part, make it a zero and it will jump back onto the rocket like that. Okay, I'll go back to the plan points. Um, and let me scale it back down to its original size. So I'll make it 0.5 scale and click OK. And now it's back to what I had it originally. Now, one of the th all things that you can do is if you're trying to uh, draw a rocket into Roxim from a plan, you're going to need the points on the grid. And the easiest way to do that is to do it off, off of Roxim and then come back on. And we have a newsletter that describes this. And it is newsletter. Let me see if I can find it for you. Pause. Pause. Come on, I had this open. This will be newsletter 488. And if you go to our newsletter section on our website, uh, to get there, you go How To and Guides, and then Peak of Flight Newsletters, and then All Newsletters, and then you're looking for newsletter 488, which is this one right here, Entering Scale, cust Entering Custom Fins into Roxham, and it will describe the process. Uh, the neat thing about it is you can uh, get pretty exact by selecting the points and coming over here and typing in a number um, that the newsletter describes how to do this. Um, so if I make it 1.75, you'll see that point jump a little bit. You can also show all the points all at one time by clicking this button here. And then when you click on a point, it will jump to the point and then you can type in the exact location of that point on the fin. So that's how you make a custom fin in Roxim. Don't be afraid to experiment. It's a lot of fun. Oh, incidentally, you can do through the wall fins uh, as we shown in the other video. Um, you can also change the color. Again, we also showed that in a different video. So that's custom fins. I hope you enjoy it and have a lot of fun doing it.